Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm quite hot actually. Um, today, and yes, my hair looks just washed because it has just been washed. Um, but today, I have got a new video. Of course, it's a come shop with me, a come shop with me today. Um, around MS and H&M we went round. Um, I am filming the intro after the fact I've been in quite a few days, like two, well not quite a few, two days after the fact I've been because it was kind of an impromptu come shot with me video today. I was in High Wycombe today because I had to go to a certain place to do a certain thing which will all become clear hopefully in a video soon. I am waiting on a few things before or one thing before I can film that video but it's been a long time coming so it needs to hurry itself up even though it said it being dispatched like over nearly two weeks ago which is ridiculous but we shall see hopefully that'll come soon and that mystery will be solved but today we're not going to talk about that we are going to get into the fact that i went on a little come shop with me around h&m and m&s to see what's good what they've got m&s is not a shop i usually typically shop in for clothes although if you saw a haul at christmas i did buy a few christmas items like christmas presents in there for my family members um but typically i don't buy anything for me that might change in the future. You'll have to come watch this come shop with me. I didn't end up buying anything. Spoilers. But yeah, nonetheless, we had a look around those two shops. So if you like this kind of video, there is plenty more on this channel. Have a look. I'll link the playlist up this side. Or is it up this side? We don't know. I can never remember what side it is. But I'll leave it up there. And that's got all my come shop with me's. And last year, 2021, was the year of the come shop with me for me. So if you like a come shop with me video go watch that um, or click on that playlist and that will have everything highlighted for you. I've also got a Primark specific one if you want to have a look at that. I think I've got one. Bista Village I've definitely got a specific one so I'll leave that up there but do take a moment to subscribe if you do like this comes if you I'm talking like a million miles now if you do like this kind of video do take a minute to subscribe it's free you can ring my bell to get notified of when I upload and also follow me on my Instagrams which are always linked down below and you'll be able to see sneak peeks of what I get up to before they hit the tube but yeah continue watching for the come shot with me first port of call MNS see how dead it is today um these are some lovely rugby style polo shirts 29.90 no, was that 29.50 yeah that's how much they are lots of different colors i do like a plain block one but i also like a color block one as well sometimes um i haven't got one personally but the navy one is a good option although it is like 30 pounds which a bit pricey in my opinion and not really what i want to pay they do have some plain polo shirts which i think giving me the same vibe again this but this is my favorite color at 19 pound 50 though but it's not giving me the same vibe of a rugby shirt and I know it's all about in the collar and that's it but and you are paying like an extra 10 quid for the collar but I like that okay and um, they've got some nice like fleecy things this particular one this brown one at the end for 25 pounds is really nice quarter zip jumper or sweatshirt even 25 pound in the grey looks really nice right up my street um and then some more bits around here some boring trousers to be honest lots of different shirt options and this jacket which i think i've really seen before caught my eye as well 50 quid though but i do like the colors um these thinner jackets were quite nice pretty pricey for what they are but that blue one is a particularly nice color um these shirts are nice though 29 pound 50 i suppose it's a nice gift in like that kind of not it's not a set but it's like pre-packaged I guess it's not really pre-packaged but you know what I mean this puffer jacket 65 pounds which in the grand scheme of things these days isn't too bad for a coat or well, that one says 79 for the different color but then a beeline for these because these ones say 49 I think they're a special price because I've seen them more expensive or other places at previous times but they look quite thick they've got like a barber styly section there with like a wax jacket and quilted jackets which were quite nice moving on to h&m now next point of call and they've got some nice check shirts at the front here this this jacket gorgeous i'll leave a link to a video up the top where i try that on and may have purchased it but that is a video that was up a few weeks ago so i'll leave that linked up the top 
in the clickable eye button for you to watch some nice sweatshirts and stuff and then this caught my eye when I looked at it over here this beanie looked really nice I just like the colours of that beanie I don't wear hats because I'm hot all the time very warm and my head gets really hot and itchy so I decide not to wear that type of thing nice check shirt there and like some nice jackets up there for 24.99 this one I do really like I saw this one in the um and my last gum shop with me at H&M in the Molly Milton Keynes. That is really nice. It looks a bit padded as well. I don't know. But I just really like that. But I don't need any, I literally don't need anything more in my life. But I really like those. I think I prefer the blue check one though, to be honest, rather than that one. And then we're moving into the more casual section. This is basically just basics. Seventeen ninety nine for those hoodies. Although that is a really nice colour, that jade tealy coloured one. And then out the corner of my eye, I was like, what the hell is that in the corner? got a tiny little home section literally a wall so random so random but like i don't really understand why that's there and why we only need a tiny little bit of it but there's a if that fancies or catches your drift literally not a lot in there some pillowcases and stuff there we go that's it really i don't understand why that tiny bit was like at the back of the men's section I didn't really check out the other bits of the store. Maybe there's a bit of a home section anywhere else. I did also notice a lot of the um, like prices are like written on. Don't know why. Really like this jacket written on price, fifty pounds, which is a bit more pricey than some of the things. This shirt was really nice, twelve ninety nine though. When you could get a jacket for that price in here as well, the green one that I mentioned earlier. But I really like that stripe in like a really light green. I thought that was quite different. No idea what that word says, but I thought that. Sweatshirt was quite nice, and then this is right up my street with a half quarter slash quarter zip um, sweatshirt. Really nice, some nice check trousers, and then what I'm going to show you in a minute. Like I've never seen a bomber jacket in like Sherpa Borg. I thought that was quite interesting. Never seen a bomber version of that. So. In filming the outro bit of this video after the fact of being the trial, which is obviously you would always film the outro after the fact that you've done something. I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm chatting rubbish, but yeah, so we went round those two shops, H&M, I forgot how small that one was in terms of the men's section, tiddly, and then they got a really random little home, little, I mean like a shelf of home stuff at the back, that was, I've always thought that one was bigger, but obviously I got my bearings wrong on that and it's not, so a little bit disappointed that, I forgot how small that was. Um, but nonetheless, we had a little shop route. No, we didn't. I didn't buy anything. Spoilers. Didn't get anything. But there was quite a few things in there. But I literally had to get out of there because it was so hot. I don't know why H and M makes their stores incredibly hot. That unbearable. I cannot stand it. And I literally had probably like it was simple. I can't even remember what I was wearing, but similar to this, like a t-shirt, a jumper, and then a very, like, a thin-ish coat, and it's winter, like, it's January, it's cold, but that shop, I don't know why they think it's appropriate, I was so hot, and when I get hot, I get itchy, I had to get out, because I was like, I can't do this, but I did battle through just to get some clips for you, but I literally couldn't, I had to get out of that store. M&S, on the other hand, was quite bare, I don't think, I don't know if I, well, I say it was quite bare, there was a lot of empty space in some parts of the store upstairs in that M&S, even though it's a nice big open store. Um, the coats, there were some interesting um, prices on the coats there for the puffer jackets, £45. Those puffer jackets looked puffed, I'm telling you, puffed. But I think that would, for me, be too thick. I get, as I, as I just explained, H&M, I got too hot. I would literally just have to wear nothing under that puffer jackets in M&S if I was going to buy one of those. But... I get so hot so quickly, like, I've come to realise I do not need a thick coat, because if I'm walking somewhere, too hot, if I'm in a hot place, too hot, inside, too hot, so the only time I need, like, a thick layer is if I'm doing a really slow walk, where I'm not, like, I I hate doing slow walks, I, I can't, but, or if I'm just standing somewhere, so typical circumstances for that would be, like, uh, at work, I do, um, some fundraising around Christmas time with a Santa float 
and that is cold. So a thick-ish coat is good for that. Although I don't normally wear a thick coat when I do that because we do walking and stuff anyway. And it's not particularly slow because you have to keep up with the Santa float, which is like a Land Rover or Range Rover or whatever it was. I think it was a Range Rover. Um, uh, or if you're just standing, like, not that I've been to one in ages, but like a bonfire display and you're just standing around in the cold or watching something in the cold outside, then you, I would personally need a thickish coat. Otherwise, I don't need one. Like, if I'm going to London or something, I rarely take do I if I'm going to London or something and I'm going on the tube it's always boiling for me in the winter I can't deal with it and like on the train normally boiling can't deal with it because everywhere inside has got their heating cranked right up and I can't deal with that so I've come to terms with I don't think I'm going to get another another puffer coat because all the ones I've seen what is that I've just been distracted by a mark on my watch Okay, that just came off. <laughs> if you haven't watched my Apple Watch unboxing, I'll leave that up at the top. But um, yeah, what was I saying? I've come to terms with, I don't think I will buy another puffer jacket because the puffer jacket I've got at the moment from Pull and Bear, it's like thin, it's like a lightweight one. Whereas everything I've seen, like those M&S ones we saw today looked thick and they would keep you warm if I was in the Antarctic or Antarctica or like, high parts of Norway then yeah I might get one of those but I don't think I need to I'm a very hot blooded is that the right term like I'm a very warm person so most of the time sometimes I can get cold but I'm normally quite a warm person so I don't think I need that level of thickness when someone's like walking around with like a massive Canada goose or something like that I could never because I would literally be sweating buckets I would get so itchy like as soon as I get hot I get itchy and then I can't stand it that's why I did not like H&M and a lot of H&M stores are quite hot. Um, I don't know why. Like the one where I live is not. And um, yeah, actually, I think a lot of them are really warm. I don't understand that. Um, I suppose it's so the sales assistants can wear like short sleeves and stuff, which is great for them. But if I'm coming in in like a massive winter coat, then I don't need that. I've kind of rambled on about how hot I am for like five minutes now. So I'm going to kind of wrap up this video. But have you been in H&M or M&S recently? Let me know your thoughts if you have. Have you picked up anything in H&M? I know they've just had, well, they're having a sale. I didn't really look too much in the sale at, when I was in the store because one, it was tiddly and two, I just wanted to get out, as I said, of the shop because it was so hot. But um, they did have a sale. Um, I didn't pick anything up in the sale. I don't think I did, no. Um, normally I love a good H&M sale, but this time I did not pick anything up. Let me know if you did down in the comments below or if you've got anything of their new in-season. Did I pick, was that recently? That must have been recently when I did. No, no, I did pick something up in the sale. I'm lying. I have done a video on that. Go watch that. Was that before or after Christmas? I literally cannot remember. I think it was after Christmas. I believe it was. Time does not exist for me anymore, I've come to realise, which is really bad when you buy things. Uh, so yeah, definitely watch that up. Yeah, I did. Because I got two, I got some nice things which are still in the store. And I think they had a different colour of one of them as well. So, and I'm always getting it flagged, on not flagged, but like it comes up on Instagram stories, ads to me all the time. I've already bought that. I do not need an advert for it. So I'll link that up there for you to go check out because yes I have bought stuff in H&M recently which is a fairly recent video it must have been in the last two or three weeks so they do have that stuff in store because I'm always getting advertised that particular item all the time on Instagram so go check that out let me know if you've also bought anything in M&S recently um have you picked up one of those puffer, puffer jackets and is it as warm as they look let me know because I'm as I've said a million times I'm probably not going to get one because they're so warm but 45 pounds is i think that's how much they were um it was a really good price but anyway we are ending the video now thank you guys so much for watching as i said earlier take a moment to subscribe if you like this kind of things we do come shop with me's hauls vlogs that kind of things on this channel so do take a moment to subscribe down below also follow my instagrams because i have posted a few times this week so go check those out i did a reel there we go um go post that out send me some love over there that would be very appreciated but now we are drawing to the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye